I grew up in St. Petersburg, Florida and raised by a single mom. Uh, she was all by herself because my dad left when I was six months old. I really have no memory of him. She uh, would be a loner and I grew up with an example of somebody who felt so disconnected from life whatsoever that I became a renegade and very rebellious when I was a kid. By the time I was a teenager, I was already an alcoholic. I hung around with a bad crowd that got me involved in very bad things, and I did the worst of the worst that a kid could do back in the uh, early 80s. A and she had enough of that, because by the time I was 16 years old, she kicked me out of the house. And there was no place to go, except a couple of friends' houses on their couch and the streets. And it was a little of both for me. It was, it was one of the worst things that anybody could ever go through. I lived on the streets. I survived out of dumpsters. There were nights that I woke up in a cemetery. Uh, there wasn't a day that went by that I couldn't find some kind of a high or some kind of a, a drink so I could just get out of this reality that I was living in and live in some other world. And I felt so disconnected and so alone. Being alone in a situation like that is one of the worst things that anybody can ever go through because there's just nobody there. I mean, at the end of the day, when you lie your head down on a concrete slab under a bridge, it's like, do you care about me? Is there really a God? Where are people? How come there is no help? How come nobody will take me in? I'm just a kid. Where are you? I wanted to give up my life. I, I live near a big bridge called the Skyway Bridge. I wanted to take a leap off that thing. If this is what life had for me, why even live? I didn't want to. Until one day, when I was scraping around for food in a dumpster, found a Walkman. And that Walkman was tuned to that very same radio station that a youth pastor told me about. And I started listening. And this radio station would tell me about life in Christ, told me that I was never alone, that God will never leave me, that he'll never forsake me, that I could have a relationship and never be alone ever again. So one night, as I'm listening on my Walkman, this guy says a prayer for me to accept Jesus into my heart. So I prayed along with him, and that began, began a whole new, fresh life for me. It's amazing how God has taken me from a place where there was despair, where I felt like I was just so alone, and he loved me so much that he introduced his son on a cross to me through a radio station, and I have it all now. I try to be what I didn't have. I didn't have a dad who loved me. I never had the hugs. I never had the kisses. I, I, and I still don't today have from a dad, I'm proud of you, son. And so I work as hard as I can to the best of my abilities to hug my kids, to tell them I love them, just to, just to say that I'm proud of you. Yo, Rob Dempsey and Kristen Roberts, this is 647, okay. I am privileged so every single day to do what a guy did for me who never even knew me when I was just a teenager living on the streets in St. Petersburg, Florida. I can tell people that God loves them. I can live my life of faith with the ups and the downs and let them know that God will never leave them and never forsake them. Relationships with friends, relationships with family, relationships with church, for me, is texture of life. I mean, one of the first things that I read in the Bible is that love your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Why in the world did God put me on this earth to be alone? That's awful. I lived alone. And then when I realized that, that love your neighbor as yourself, that God put people in this life, in my life, that God put people on this planet that I can have a relationship with. We need each other. I need people in my life to survive. And I know that God placed key individuals to give me that texture, to give me that hope, because there are days where, I mean, honestly, even when you're a born again, Christ following person like I am, that I feel disconnected from God. God, why aren't you listening to me? And the people in my life will remind me, God, no, Rob, you're not alone. God is there. I care for you. Let's walk through this thing together. I thrive on something like that in relationships.